and I to my channel if you're new here my name is Jambi Joroge welcome to my little space so the Barbie movie is about to come out and I've just been seeing people in all of these like pink looks and I thought why not do like a Barbie inspired makeup look and by that I mean just like a pink eyeshadow kind of look I was going for a pink clip but it didn't go that way but anyway it's fine I think we turned out really cute so yeah let's get into the video but before we do don't forget to subscribe to the channel and give this video a thumbs up let's get to it okay so i'm grabbing my la girl primer and i'm just going to apply that on my face so i do this little dots and then i just kind of blend it out using my hands i typically use my hands you can use a brush if you want to next i'm going in with my illegal pro concealer again and this is in the shade fawn and i'm just going to go ahead and just kind of clean my eyebrows i went ahead and just filled them off camera and now we're just cleaning and i like to extend that concealer to my eyelids just so that it can act as a primer for my eyeshadow and now i'm grabbing a beauty blender and i'm just going to blend that a little bit further just so that it's all cohesive and it's all blended out next i'm going to be grabbing a brush and and I'm just going to use that brush to kind of blend out those harsh lines and then I'm going to go back to my beauty blender again and I'm going to use that to blend everything in next I'm going to be grabbing some powder and this brush and I'm just going to like the slightest amount and I'm just going to set that concealer in and then I'm going to grab my palette and then we are going to get into that orange color and I'm going to use it as a transitional shade just for that um yeah for a transitional shade so i'm going in with my brush and i'm just going to go ahead and just blend that in i initially was using this brush but i went back to the brush i was using earlier just because it helps to blend a little bit better and then um yeah i'm just going to be doing that and then i'm going to grab my palette again and i'm going to go in with that pink shade and i'm just going to apply it over my crease i wasn't sure how this pink was going to turn out but i think it turned out really really good especially with the assistance of the orange it just kind of helped to brighten it up a little bit i'm grabbing my shade uh, my palette again and i'm going in with that pink shimmer and i'm going to use that on my eyelids and that is pretty much it of course what i do to this eye i'm going to do to the other one So this is our final look and i think it turned out really good next i'm grabbing my illegal pro concealer and my color corrector and i'm just going to mix the two over that area over there just because of hyperpigmentation i tend to get dark around those areas so i'm grabbing my beauty blender and i'm going to blend that in and of course i'm going to set that in with a little bit of powder again just the slightest amount you don't want it to be too cakey next i'm grabbing again my illegal pro concealer and i'm going to go ahead and highlight my face and i highlight in those areas and under my eyes to next i'm grabbing my foundation this is my maybelline fit me in the shade 365 and i'm just going to apply little dots over my face um and then i'm going to grab my brush and i'm going to blend that in so the reason i didn't blend my concealer first is because i want to allow it to sit for a while before we blend that in next i'm going in with a little bit of setting spray just to kind of make the blending pro uh, process a little bit easier so yeah i'm going in with my brush and the motion is just kind of like tapping 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 um yeah that's basically the motion that we're using of course i'm going to go with it on my forehead again but i'll do that even more once i take off the headscarf and then i'm going now with this brush and i'm going to go ahead and blend my concealer and i'm using this it's kind of like an angled brush and so i usually start with the angled brush and then um later on i'm going to be using a beauty blender to blend everything in of course take your time guys just make sure that it's fully blended in um one thing i've noticed about makeup is that you really need to take your time if you want to achieve that kind of like flawless look up again is my illegal pro concealer again and this is in the shade espresso and i usually use this for contour and i'm just going to contour on my cheek boots on my cheek and also contour on my forehead and down the bridges of my nose and um yeah once i done once i was done um applying the concealer i went ahead and grabbed a beauty blender and i'm just going to go ahead and blend that um contour in
okay now let's get into baking and i usually start off with uh, a loose powder and i'm just baking in the areas that i contoured and the areas that i highlighted next i'm going in with my maybelline fit me powder and i'm just my maybelline powder sorry and i'm just going to go ahead and just set on top of the um, loose powder so i use both of them just because it diani it blends so well i cannot even emphasize how well it blends so i'm just going to go ahead and um i'm going to use my palette to create this kind of like a pink eyeshadow so a pink eyeliner so what i did was i basically just sprayed my setting spray on the eyeshadow palette just to create kind of like a paste and then that paste is what i'm using to create that pink eyeliner of course i also went with it down on my eyelids just to kind of have like a pink cohesive look you know i was going to leave it without the eyeliner but i thought why not next i'm just going to go ahead and just brush out that powder from my face and as you can see it really helps to just kind of set everything in in such a flawless way i never used to use the press on powder i just used the what is it called the loose powder alone but i've realized that the press on powder in combination with the loose powder just makes for a perfect finish so this is me brushing my concealer brush and i'm going to use that to just kind of clean um on that area just to kind of make like the foundation really kind of nice and clean sorry the eyeshadow really kind of nice and clean and i'm just blending that out of course i'm going to go ahead and also clean the upper side of my eyebrows because i didn't do that earlier on and i'm using my foundation to do this and i usually use like a very light layer a very light layer just so that it's not too harsh and just cohesive with um, um the color of my skin so yeah i went ahead and grabbed my um <laughs> eye pencil and this is davis eye pencil in the shade number eight and i'm just using that to line my lips and then once i was done i went ahead and grabbed my um this is my joanna k cosmetics in the shade limoru and i just applied it on my lips i absolutely love this lipstick like joanna joanna did her thing okay joanna did her thing next i'm just going to go in with a gloss i don't like lipstick so much so whenever i do lipstick i always ensure that i go in with a gloss but i went in with a lot so this is me just kind of um wiping out the excess next i'm going to grab my setting spray and i'm just going to set my face in and of course i have a little fan just to kind of fan my face and help the the spray to set in then i remembered that i had not done my blush typically i do my blush before my setting spray but yeah this is my blush and i'm using my palette to do this and then i went in with some mascara i didn't do lashes today um but yeah this is the final look So that was it my loves i hope you enjoyed the video let me know what you think about the look in the comment section down below i think we did pretty good i didn't go with lashes but i think it turned out really good so let me know what you think in the comment section down below don't forget to subscribe to my channel and give this video a thumbs up thank you so much for watching share with your family and friends and i'll see you in the next one bye bye